Uh, so I uh, live in New York, and um, um, I grew up in Minneapolis, a uh, Midwestern city. Uh, I've uh, lived in New York for all of my adult life. I didn't go to art school. I studied philosophy as an undergraduate, and uh, then I just uh, got a job that gave me access to video equipment and just made work at night uh, uh, after work. Uh, my interest in art came th through an interest in film and video, and so uh, the my earliest work is mostly uh, mostly video work, uh, short um, single channel videos, and uh, then my work became more installation oriented and I started working in other mediums uh, as much or more than video. The project uh, came about from a visit I made to the to uh, Washington DC and uh, I went to, to all of the national museums on uh, the National Mall and I went to the, the Holocaust Memorial Museum for the first time, and I was uh, really kind of struck and perplexed by the artworks that were commissioned for the museum when it was built, and uh, that was the, the, the starting point for the exhibition, and three years later, uh, the form that the project took uh, was that I made f four artworks that sort of responded to uh, the four commissioned artworks for the uh, Holocaust Memorial Museum. Basically, you know, artworks by me in the style of these four artists. Uh, the, the, the four commissioned artworks uh, are uh, a solid w wall mural, uh, uh, R Richard Serra steel wall. Uh, there's a Ellsworth Kelly uh, wall sculpture that's in two parts. There are three blank white panels and uh, an enormous white uh, curve shape, which is his signature shape. And then uh, in front of the museum, there's a large Joel Shapiro sculpture of one of his uh, signature uh, figures. So for the, the show here, I made um, a wall mural uh, that uh, was sort of inspired by Solowitz wall murals. But um, the instructions that I uh, drew up for the mural were just that uh, a wall was to be painted beige using one inch brushes. And uh, th 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 uh, three students from the art school here uh, interpreted and executed the mural. and I told them that they could just do whatever they wanted within those parameters and uh, Solowitz wall murals um, are usually like just very prescribed and there's no room for interpretation and they're painted by often by uh, uh, painters who have been specially trained to make these murals so I wanted to make something that uh, where the uh, people that painted the mural had complete freedom to do whatever they wanted. And uh, the, the work that I made in 
that's sort of in response to the uh, Ellsworth Kelly pieces. Uh, I made a, a large fiberglass curve shape, uh, like his white curve shape. Um, I changed the design uh, a little bit uh, to make it more sort of dynamic and um, uh, but I uh, made my curve pink instead of white, so it's a hybrid of a Ellsworth Kelly curve shape and a pink triangle, which gay people in the Holocaust were made to wear. And for the Richard Serra piece, uh, I just I chose to. Uh, not to directly uh, address the piece that he made for the Holocaust Museum. Instead, uh, I made a video which is um, based on his uh, video from the early 70s, Television Delivers People, uh, but uh, my video is called Art Delivers People, and, and um, or his video is a, a very sort of, uh, scathing critique of the television industry. Um, I uh, used a lot of the same language from his video to talk about the art industry. and. Um, a lot of it, I felt, uh, was applicable. The Holocaust um, uh, Memorial Museum work was all made for this exhibition. Uh, in, uh, in, in Scotland, um, uh, Another related piece is uh, I, I made a sculpture for, um, of the Arbeit Macht Free sign from Auschwitz in the form that it was found uh, when it was recovered after its theft last year. and. Um, the, the sign had been cut in, into three parts and uh, was found in a field in, in Poland a few days after the theft. So uh, I remade the sign in three parts and uh, arranged them in just sort of a scattered uh, formation. And uh, what really what I found really compelling about the, the, that whole incident is just all of the questions that it raised about um, w what does it mean to deface a symbol of evil and what does it ma mean to restore a symbol of evil and what does it mean to copy a symbol of evil and uh, when the sign was stolen, uh, it seemed equally likely that it could have been stolen for scrap metal or as a prank uh, or by neo-Nazis, which turned out to be the case. D despite the, the title, the show isn't exactly about the Holocaust. It's um, and there's a lot of other work in the show that about uh, other subjects altogether. Um, but in choosing work, for the most part, I uh, uh, selected work that was in um, uh, was more minimalist and. Um, uh, the focus of the show is uh, more generally uh, the relation between art and 
socio-political reality and uh, I, and um, how art can function and how art can be used.